ng Teacher April. Good morning, class. So, for week 5, our lesson is about rational numbers. So, here are the objectives for this discussion. After going through this video, you are expected to A. Express rational numbers from fraction form to decimal form and vice versa. And letter B. You're going to perform the operation on rational numbers. You're going to add, subtract, multiply, and divide rational numbers. What do we mean by rational numbers? So, rational numbers are numbers which can be written as quotient of two integers, a over b, where b is not equal to zero. So, remember, b is not equal to zero. So, meaning, your denominator is not equal to zero. So, let's see what happens if the denominator is zero. Let's say, for example, 5 divided by zero. Is it equal to zero? No, because 0 times 0 is not equal to 5. 0 times 0 is equal to 0. So, this is not a rational number. How about 0 divided by 5? Is it equal to 0? Okay, let's check. 0 times 5 is equal to Zero. So, therefore, this is a rational number. Okay? So, any rational number can be expressed in fraction or decimal form. For example, express 4 over 5 in decimal form. So, how are we going to convert that or change 4 over 5 to decimal form? So you simply divide the numerator by the denominator. Okay? So, therefore, 4 over 5 is equal to 0 and 8 tenths or 0 0.8. How about changing decimal to fraction? When decimal is converted to fraction, you divide the decimal by the powers of 10 and express the fraction in lowest term. For example, 0 and 8 tenths. So, how many decimal point? 1. So, you're going to use the power of 10. 8 over 10. Then, since the two numbers are divisible by 2, Pwede mo pa siyang i-divide sa 2. Okay? So, that is 8 divided by 2 is 4. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So, therefore, 0 and 8 tenths is equal to 4 over 5. Okay? Remember that when we change fraction to decimal, you simply divide the numerator by the denominator. And when decimal is converted to fraction, you divide the decimal by the powers of 10. 0 0.5 is read as 5 tenths. So how do you write this in a fraction form? 5 tenths. So that is 5 over 10. So, as you can see, 5 over 10 can be reduced to lowest term. And 5, 5 over 10 are divisible by 5. So, you can divide it by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So, the, the simplest form of 5 tenths is 1 half. So, remember, kapag ang fraction pwede mong i-reduce, kailangan mo siyang i-reduce to lowest term. How do you write this in a decimal form? So, that is 5 tenths. So, you can write this as 0 and 5 tenths or 0 0.5. Okay? So, for learning task number 1, you're going to translate the given statement into fractions and decimal. So, dalawa ang magiging sagot ninyo. Number 1, 2 tenths. So, how do you write this in a fraction form? So, that is 2 over 10. Now, look at the two numbers. 
it can be reduced to lowest term. The numbers are divisible by 2. So, you can divide it by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So, the reduced fraction of 2 tenths is 1 fifth. Okay? So, how do you write this in decimal form? 2 tenths. So, that is 0 and 2 tenths or 0 0.2. Okay, so you do the next number, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, you will have two points for each number. Okay, how do we add similar fractions? So, when we say similar fractions, these are fractions with the same denominator. Take a look at this example. Number 1, 3 over 7 plus 2 over 7. So, as you can see, the denominators are the same and that is 7 so all you have to do is to add the numerator we have 3 plus 2 equals 5 and just copy the denominator and that is 7 okay so therefore your answer is 5 over 7 next number 2 4 over 9 plus 2 over 9 equals so again we have the same denominator. Just add the numerator. 4 plus 2 equals 6. Then, copy the denominator, which is 9. So, you have 6 over 9. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, ang 6 over 9 ay pwede pa pong i-reduce sa lowest term. Siya ay divisible by 3. So, pwede mo siyang i-divide sa 3. So, 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, therefore, your answer in lowest term is 2 over 3. Let's proceed with addition of dissimilar fraction. So, when we say dissimilar fractions, these are fractions with different denominators. So, let's say for example, 2 over 15 plus 3 over 5. So, as you can see, the denominators are not the same. So, we have 15 and 5. So, in this case, you are going to find the LCD or the least common denominator. So, papaano mo siya gagawin? So, 15 and 5 ang denominators natin. So, you have to list down the multiples of 15. What are those? So, we have 15, 30, 45, 60, and so on and so forth. And list down the multiples of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And find their common multiples. So, ang common multiple natin is 15 and 15. It will serve as your common denominator, 15. So, you will make this as an equivalent fraction. So, isusulat mo sa baba yung LCD, common denominator, which is 15. Okay. So, let us convert this into equivalent fraction. Papaano? So, you're going to divide 15 by 15 that is 1 times 2 will give you 2. Okay? Next. 15 divided by 5 is 3 times 3 equals 9. Since we have all the same denominator, we just add the numerator 2 plus 9 equals 11, then copy the denominator. And that will give you 11 over 15. Okay, example number 2, we have 2 over 5 plus 3 over 9. So as you can see, we have different denominators again, 5 and 9. So, all you have to do is to find the LCD. 
Tulad ng ginawa natin sa example number 1, we're going to list down the multiples of 5. So, 5, 10, 15, and so on and so forth. And then, list down also the multiples of 9, which is 9, 18, 27, and so forth. So, dito pala makikita mo na kung ano yung common sa kanila. That is 45. This 45 serve as your common denominator. 45. So, meaning, pwede siyang i-divide sa 5, pwede rin siyang i-divide sa 9. So, since ang denominator natin is 45, lalagay na natin siya rito. 45 as the denominator. So, paano natin i-convert to sa equivalent fraction? So, we have to divide 45 divided by 5 equals 9 times 2 equals 80. Next, 45 divided by 9 will give you 5 times 3 equals 15. So, these are the equivalent fractions of 2 over 5 and 3 over 9. Then, since we have already a similar fraction, we need to add the numerator. 18 plus 15 equals 33. Then, copy the denominator, which is 45. So, since yung 33 and 45, pwede pa siyang i-reduce to lowest term. So, ano ang po pwedeng i-divide sa kanilang dalawa? Masakto ang sagot. So, pwede natin siya i-divide sa 3. So, 33 divided by 3 is 11. 45 divided by 3 is 15. So, therefore, ang sagot is 11 over 15. So, other solution is multiplying the denominator directly. So, 5 times 9 is 45. So, since nag-multiply ka sa baba, pwede ka ngayon mag-cross multiply. 2 times 9 equals 18. Plus, uh, 5 times 3 equals 15. Okay? Then, add the numerator. 18 plus 15 equals 33. Copy the denominator. Then, reduce to lowest term will give you 11 over 15. Okay? So, we come up with the same answer. Hanggat pwedeng i-reduce sa lowest term, kailangan yung i-reduce ito sa lowest term. Okay? So, sa subtraction, parehas din ang process, kaya lang magkaiba sila ng operation. Kung sa addition, nag ina mo yung numerator, pagdating sa subtraction, isa-subtract mo naman yung numerator. Okay? Keep on watching for part 2 on multiplication and division of rational numbers. Thank you!